Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Astrogate Mysore. So, continuing the subject of uh, the planets and its positions from the ascendant sign of Aries, today we are continuing the new chapter of Mars. So, the 12 positions of Mars starting from the first house that is the sign of its own placement in the ascendant. So, <coughs> Mars is the ascendant lord and when it is placed in Aries, it is one of the strongest positions. So, many people are asking me this question as to why you are doing the Bhava chart, why everything has to be seen from the Rashi chart, why do you see it from the Bhava chart? The point is, when I am telling you that Mars is posited in the ascendant, in the ascendant sign, and if I am telling it is in the first house, they all have different things to earn, you know, for us to calculate. Mars placed in the ascendant sign means that Mars is in Aries, ascendant is also Aries and it might be somewhere a little uh, far away from each other. It may not or may or may not be the first house. First house is calculated keeping the ascendant degree as the midpoint. So, if the ascendant is at 15 degrees of Aries, then the whole of Aries is called as the first house. So, taking uh, 15 degrees on either side. So, let us keep in mind that Mars is in the first house in the sign of Aries, which is its ascendant. Okay. So, this particular placement of Mars gives rise to Ruchaka Yoga, one of the Panchamaha Purusha Yogas, which is an excellent yoga for a person to become an army officer, a military officer, a policeman, a bodybuilder, a very strong personality. So, let us now see whether this manifests in this placement of Mars in its own sign for Aries Ascendant. The positives of this particular placement is that this placement gives good health, very courageous, spontaneous, hard working, ambitious and the Nakshatra Padas of Ashwini, Bharani and Kritika which are there in this particular set of Meshrashi will give different kind of characteristics when Mars is posited there. So, I will not go into the stellar astrology for Mars as I did it for Moon. So, people can watch this at you know videos of Sun, Moon for the Aries ascendant in different positions. So, this <coughs> is for Mars. So, I will not go into the stellar part. They are sometimes carefree, you know, that carefree attitude will be there that let us see, we will do it tomorrow, not a problem. So, this carefree and uh, not getting attached to the problems or responsibilities is seen in this particular position. In certain uh, placements, they are very active, uh, bodily very active, they do not tire down fast, they are um, physically very strong. And, uh, you know, they are having a lot of interest in making uh, fast investments and money. You know, it is something like they would uh, love to do business. They would want to go in for investments like uh, trading and stock trading, investments in virtual uh, market, real estate, because Mars represents the earth. That is earth in the sense that not the... Uh, planet earth, it represents the mud, it represents the soil, it represents the real estate, the landed property. So, all that is earth movers, equipments, um, manufacturing equipments, uh, automobiles, uh, factories where the heat is generated, all this comes under Mars. They are very good leaders, they can be excellent competitive sportsmen. So, this is a huge uh, 
big list of positivity. There can be entrepreneurs, hotel managers, um, owners of uh, industries, many things. So going to the negatives, we can see that in a particular placement, when Mars is placed, like in the Ashwini Nakshatra fourth quarter, Mars gets debilitated in cancer. So it starts indecisiveness, overthinking. Sometimes they get panic. They are not in control of their own anger. They suddenly become very violent, physically violent. You know, they act first and think later. Rough and rude and, you know, rough looking rugged face which looks very tough, very masculine face. Rashes and boils on face if it is badly posited. You know, along with, let us say, Rahu or along with, uh, you know, a retro Saturn, which is Nietzsche Vakrashani and also Mars there. It gives, you know, chronic ailment of acne on the face. They sometimes become unemotional. This has to be rechecked. You know, because people keep telling that, sir, sir, you are giving us predictions and uh, character uh, estimations depending only on one placement. It's not to be done like that, actually. We have to mix up these character, uh, you know, um, assessments along with the other planetary placements also. So, if Moon is uh, tough posited along with Ketu or Saturn, and then Mars is there in Aries. These people hide their emotions and they can, you know, be very tough. Sometimes we think from the other perspective that they are unemotional. Uh, Pitta related problems, that is heat related or bile related problems can be seen. Particularly with the digestive system. So, people who are having a Mars in the Lagna or the Ascendant. They need to eat good, um, you know, blood producing fruits and vegetables. It's very important for them. Like pomegranate, like um, sapota, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables and greens which are containing more iron is required for them because it gives them bone strength and also the strength uh, for the hemoglobin. So, they are very short tempered, get irritated very fast. These are all negatives. Argumentative, very argumentative. Sometimes they don't let go their arguments when it is, you know, it's enough. Leave it. They don't leave it. They keep continuing and uh, they indulge into unnecessary relationships if there is a weak seventh lord. And the Ascendant Lord also loses its strength in the Navamsha. So they get, uh, you know, involved into illicit relationships or uh, weak affairs. Of, uh, you know, it's not that great position for them. At times, they become greedy. So now, when I am talking about, uh, you know, Mars, uh, people having Mars in the Ascendant, and that too in air is becoming greedy. It's a very contradictive statement. <clears throat> so people will suddenly jump on me and tell, no, sir, you are, I don't know from where you got this. So they are not greedy always. If it is benefically, you know, associated with Jupiter and that particular combination is malefically aspected, then they become greedy. So, this benefic and malefic aspects, this is the toughest thing for one to gain, gain knowledge in astrology as to which planet and where it is posited from the ascendant. The same planet will be benefic in, in one particular place, malefic in another particular place and will give mixed results in another particular place. So, this is a little tough thing to understand. It all uh, happens once you start practicing and understanding the intricacies of the placements. So thank you very much for today's class.